Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas for the Boxing Channel, standing here with the lineal 140-pound champion, Mr. Danny Garcia. And Danny, this this event's crazy. Like it's just packed. People are here for you, for Lucas. It's a huge event, you know. Overall, looking at it and living through it, you know, how's this experience been like for you? And how cool is this? Like seeing all these people here for you. Oh, man, it's crazy. Um, it's now that you said that, man. You're the only person who asked me that question. <laughs> but you know, it's um, it's a dream come true, man. Sometimes I sit back and I think, and I'm like. I did it, man. So I'm here, and I'm I'm happy. You know, my family's happy. I'm happy with my situation. I'm hungry. I love what I do, and besides what people think, I'm a fighter. I love what I do, and I'm going there and get the fans a great fight. When you sit and you think, do you get emotional? And and seeing, you know, the way you came up and, and the opponents they put in front of you, guys that at some point were heavily favored to beat you, does it make it mean that much more to you? Uh, every fight means a lot to me because. Like I said, I'm always the underdog because I'm not supposed to be here right now. I was supposed to been lose, like you said. I was the underdog, so we not we not supposed to be there. People don't understand it, and they always pick against you. And it's always gonna be something. But like I said before, I'm happy where I'm at in life. None of that defines who I am. The media, the social networks, none of that defines who I am. I am who I am. I train hard. I work hard. I take care of my family. My family loves me. My true fans love me, and I'm happy. Do you feel looking at the situation you're in right now, do you feel kind of like deja vu towards where you were with Amir Khan, where people were overlooking you, not giving you enough respect? And does it, I guess, make it seem like you're in the same position once more? I might always be in this position. That bother you? Because uh, every time I win a big fight, it's going to lead me to another big fight. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. So, I'm comfortable where I'm at. I don't have no pressure. I'm the co-main event, I'm the underdog to the people. In my heart, I know I'm the true champion. So when I win this fight, I'm not proving nothing to nobody. I'm just gonna be happy and I'm gonna go on vacation. <laughs> At some point, I know though, you're gonna wanna come in and have that respect and have people be like, hey, you know, Danny Garcia is going into this fight. He's legit, he's the true champion, which you are, but people just don't give you that respect because of what happened in the mirror fight. Are you hoping for that day? No, nah, I'm not. To be honest, like I said before, the media and the people don't define who I am and what kind of champion I am. You just don't wake up a champion, you understand? Fights, there's a lot of fighters who, you know what I'm saying, were supposed to win and didn't win. And they never became champion, you know what I'm saying? So it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get to a, to a certain level. And the fights you are supposed to win, it's still hard to win those fights. So. Why people don't give me the credit, I don't know, but I'm not worried. It, it is what it is. You're right on that point because those opponents step their game up, step their level up where they think like you're supposed to blow this guy away and, and you come in, you got to be like, nah, this guy really raised his game up. You as a fighter, what do you feel is the most underrated thing about you that people don't really understand and they underrate you? You know, um, I don't know, man, because I know I'm a complete fighter. I know I'm a complete fighter. And I know I'm dedicated. I don't do what other fighters do, man. I'm just, I love what I do. I'm a dedicated fighter. I know I got the skill. I was the top amateur, I'm a top pro, and I'm here. And whether people like it or not, I'm here. I'm sure you have plans to stay here for a long time. Final question, Danny. When you're on stage with Lucas, the two times that you were face to face with him, what goes on through your mind? You know, are you looking at anything? Are you thinking about anything? Let us know. I'm not thinking about nothing. I'm not thinking about nothing, because to me, it's just another fight. All that eye contact and all that don't mean nothing to me. I'm just looking at a man's eyes. <laughs> he looking in my eyes, and it is what it is. So, at the end of the day, we're going to be in the ring. We're going to fight, and the better man is going to win, that's going to be me. You don't ever think, like, wow, this dude got, like, a big nose or, like, something, like, odd like that? Like, oh, wow, this guy hasn't shaved his nose hairs. Or <laughs> no, there's a few times where I look in their eyes. They're not looking at my eyes. They're just looking at my nose. Like, yeah. It's a fighter trick. They tell you you don't want to look in their eyes, just look in their nose. So, uh, don't you so, go cross-eyed though? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> how you tell, yeah. But, but, but Danny, we wish you luck, man. This is a fight we've all been looking forward to. Taking on Lucas Matisse, my man right next to me, Danny Garcia, this Saturday, the one at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada.